Hi everyone. So in the last uh, lecture, I have uploaded a video over the contract, and uh, it is the second part of that particular video. And in this video, we will learn about the scheduling agreement. So basically, uh, first of all, we will start with the definition that what is uh, scheduling agreement, and then uh, we will see that how we used to create the scheduling agreement. See. there are multiple ways to create the scheduling agreement like uh, manual so we can create the scheduling agreement or we can maintain the schedule by manual itself or uh, by using the mrp we can maintain the schedule so here we'll see first of all we'll see the basics uh, the basic like uh, we'll create uh, by using uh, only manual after that in the next video i'll upload i'll let you know how to create a schedule or how uh, the schedule will generate by using the mrp so let's start with the definition itself of the scheduling agreement see the scheduling agreement is a nothing but a type of agreement which we used to do uh, from a vendor for a certain period of time uh, with the certain quantity or the value right so basically we used to consider here as a quantity itself and uh, the quantity they used to uh, deliver with a certain time period according to the schedule see in the last video Uh, in the value contract or the quantity contract what we used to do we used to create uh, we used to create uh, every time we have to create the purchase order right but uh, here in the scheduling agreement we don't have to create the purchase order again and again and again just we have to create the schedule or the system will generate the schedule by using the mrp based on that schedule will uh, get the material directly will do the migo and that material will come in our inventory for our uh, use right so let's start uh so basically i'll show you over here so we do have a t code of me31l 31l to create the scheduling agreement so see uh, this having the standard type of the scheduling agreement is lp that's a standard type but i have customized a uh, document type is zraw that i have customized over here i will use the same uh, and the vendor i have select this one and what i'll do i'll take as the validity period see whatever i have explained you in the definition itself that uh, it will uh, will have to define from a certain uh, period of time right uh, suppose we have uh, we do have the agreement by today and what we will do will create that agreement from uh, today to next year or uh, for the next 5 years or next 7 years whatever the uh, time duration whatever the tenure you wanted to take and based on the uh, you know based on the uh, contract you can update over here so uh, it's just basic so i am taking just one year of gap so uh, this agreement is period, agreement is valid from 2022 to 14 7 2023 and click on enter after that what i'll do i'll create see for which material we wanted to create the schedule or which uh, material we have did the agreement so like this is a material that i have did the Uh, agreement and what i have what i have did in the agreement that 99999 quantity i will take from that vendor for my rm01 location with the price of 12 rupees per quantity right so that i have taken so what i have to do i'll have to save it right now when i'll save uh, scheduling agreement will generate just save it Yes, I want to say. See, a scheduling agreement has been generated. So this is an important part. But the another important part is how to maintain the schedule and how, after that, how will uh, receive the material by using that particular schedule. So let's suppose let's start with the T code M E thirty uh, eight. We do have a T code of M E thirty eight to maintain the schedule. Go to maintain the schedule. This is the scheduling agreement that we have created. Yeah, right. The same scheduling agreement. Select the line item. Go over here. See what will be the delivery date. Let's suppose what I'm doing today. I need the quantity of two hundred. Click on enter. Okay. See what I'll do. I'll need on by tomorrow that two hundred. Right and. the day after tomorrow is a 16 i need another 200 quantity so what do you think that we have to create a uh, po again and again again and again no 
actually we are creating the schedule that means we are creating a, a one type of requirement that we need the material on the 14 7 200 quantity and the 15 7 200 quantity and 16 7 we need 200 quantity like this kind of bifurcation i have did and uh, uh, i have created that schedule so just save it yeah i want to save it now i have to release that so first of all as an ME 33 l i will open the same let's check it out this release strategy has been triggered a1 and a3 has been triggered over here so for releasing purpose we do have a t-code me 35 l so a1 and 0 2 and the document number i have to enter and execute the same release and save which release the strategy has been triggered a3 and the 0 to the same we have to enter the PO number and execute now click on save so till now what I have did I have created a scheduling agreement I have generated a schedule and based on that I have released that released it now what I have to do I have to receive that material in my own inventory so first of all let's check it out uh, slash in ME 30 L enter the same okay no issue the release strategy has been triggered no issue let's check it out which type of stock it is so it will directly go to the unrestricted or quality so it will go to the quality inspection no issue so I will do one thing just control copy class and MMBE click on enter enter the material and execute do we have some quantity yeah we do have the quantity like this on on other stock and we don't have the quantity in the quality inspection so after that receiving of my material in the quality it will show over here that we have received the 200 quantity in the quality inspection itself so what i'll have to do i'll have to receive i'll have to do the migo t code m i g o that i have entered after that I will insert the delivery note that PSP01 I will enter the delivery note and click the line item is check is ok now what I will do I will just check it is there any kind of issue here is here it is so here the two, uh, 101 movement type is has been applied and with that uh, it will go to the quality inspection now what I will have to do I will have to post it So this my document number has been posted over here and as I have opened the MMBE let's check it out the MMBE and refresh the data see the 200 quantity has been come into the quality inspection that means whatever the process we have did till now it is correct that how we used to create the scheduling and uh, based on that uh, how we used to create the schedule and based on that schedule how we used to receive the material in our own inventory so i hope you have got each and every point whatever i have tried to explain you and in the my next video i will definitely upload that how to create the automatic schedule by using the mrp here what i have did i have maintained manually that what kind of schedule here it is just click on the line item over here and check it out here that 15 See the 200 uh, GRN quantity we have did today, the 14.7 that uh, I have showed you right now. It has came to for 200 quantity and in the 15.7 we required another 200. It is open and another 200 is open till now. We have received only 200 quantity that I have created the schedule manually. But in my next video, what I will do, I will upload, I will create a video so that uh, system will generate auto schedule based on the MRP run. So in that video itself, we'll do the all configuration or the setting. Please watch my video very carefully. I hope. So thanks for it is. I think it is enough for today. Thank you. Thanks for watching.